Welcome to our beachside bungalow made by Real Good Toys. We're utilizing Hawaiian theme. Wanted to test out some new ideas and try to repurpose as much as we can. One idea that I've been trying to research for several years and we have done it. Um, adding solar lighting to a dollhouse. We use the circuit, uh, copper foil, blue and pink tape to wire the house and it comes with um, you can get it with a transformer, but we're not using a transformer. Um, it has little um, eyelets with um, brads to put in to connect your wiring, and we'll show you that in a few minutes. We utilized Evan Designs for some of our supplies, the shrink tube, wiring, lighting, and Sundance solar products um, to purchase our solar panel, our rechargeable battery with the root rechargeable battery holder as well as the on and off switch and we'll walk you through this is the battery charger with the rechargeable batteries comes with three and ended up getting a package of LED lights you'll see a red and a black wire connected to that and that's our light that actually shines through our homemade handmade lighting that we utilized and um, we're very excited this is how the wiring goes to the switch. Um, we decided to go with this type of a switch. There are many options. We bought shrink tube so that the connections of the wiring on the outside of the house would be nice and tight and secure. And we'll walk you through how we attach that as we go along. Also came up with an idea, my husband came up with this, to use solder on our lighting instead of trying to wrap the little tiny wires around those teeny tiny brads and we use non-acid core solder with a flux and low wattage soldering iron 30 watt soldering iron and these are just the rest of the products wanted to show you how small as you can see we're taking the special instrument they provide by circuit to drill a tiny hole and put the um, eyelet in blue on blue and pink on pink. Now there's copper foil underneath that coloring of tape and you have to put in two of each of the brads with the nails to make sure you have a good connection. Then we drilled a hole in the top of the dollhouse where we wanted the solar panel to be and you can see the wires come from the solar panel through that hole. We glued it with tacky glue, made sure it was nice and secure and then taped it with um, uh, blue painter's tape for a while. Here it is. It's on and we haven't tested it yet but it's there ready to connect and here's your wiring again to show you. So we had to figure out a way to run that, drill the hole in the base of the dollhouse. We're just testing to see if the system is wired correctly. If so the light will light up and you can see it is. So that means our solar panel and our rechargeable batteries and our wiring are perfect. So now you can see where we've applied the shrink wrap to the connections on the outside and just use a blow dryer and it shrinks it right to the wiring and connects it. Here's the back of the um, switch and you can see the outside of it. So what you saw before was the underside and then we wanted to have a box to hold it, to hold your battery charger had to improvise with um, some extra pieces of wood, created a box from my um, Cricut machine, found some wood um, designed um, craft paper, and created a box top and bottom, as well as the outside covering that it had to attach to the house. And um, we're calling it Earth Matters because it's a compost bin. Again, we're looking at trying to be um, environmentally friendly. So we're hiding our battery charger in a compost bin, per se, and we called it Earth Matters. So you see we had to drill holes in this little box on the outside and the side as well as the other end piece of it, and then glue the pieces together so that the box would fit. And um, there you have our little compost bin on the side of the house. We'll be adding other things as we go along. Now, we had to connect our wiring. We know it works, but we have to make sure it's going to totally work. So we test all the connections um, on the blue and pink tape. As experience has told us, you can wire it and think it's ready, and then you get through and <laughs> didn't work. So 
especially after wallpapering. It's not a fun thing. So there's, you'll see where LED lights going inside these handmade light fixtures. And we have another video that talks about how we made these light fixtures. This is just a sample, a couple of them. You can see he taped the wire connections inside so that it could free his hands up to solder because you notice the end of that soldering iron is very small and you it's you can't get two people in there to wire it's not enough space so that just shows you the solder and again he's showing more soldering every connection was soldered and here's our house with the lights on and you can see it comes through the stained glass panel and appreciate you watching look forward to talking to you again